Hi everyone. Hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here. We are back and it's me and my friend, the peep. And so he is going to make a guest appearance every so often when I'm leaning down and bending for stuff because I cannot get him in the frame. But anyhow, I hope you guys have had a fantastic couple of days since I saw you last in Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some great things to share with you guys and I want to get started right away. But first, I do want to mention that I made this headband right here for Easter with all Dollar Tree items except for the peep guy right there. He was actually in a Silly Putty kit. It was 98 cents from the Easter section at Walmart and he's just a little addition piece. So I wanted to show him to you guys just in case you wanted to make a headband. All the ribbons, the little embellishments, the bows, everything I made from ribbon from the Dollar Tree and the headbands came in a two pack and that's a lot of hot glue. So before we get too far into this, I want to get to it so that I can show you all of the amazing things that I found. Now, let me start off with this fantastic pinwheel right here. I absolutely love pinwheels, and this is a huge pinwheel that I have never seen this size offered at the Dollar Tree. So for a dollar twenty-five, this is amazing. I find pinwheels this size around two, three, four dollars on sale, four dollars at Hobby Lobby, about this size. So I am so excited. I got to pick up three of them. And they're this beautiful, gorgeous iridescent. And they've got a great little spin to them. I think that they are just perfect. I found them near the gardening section. So I was super, super excited about that. I also found these brand new little votive holders. And I think that they are stunningly, stunningly beautiful with the floral all around them. This one I think is particularly pretty. I love all of the pinks and blues all throughout this entire little votive. Cute little candle in there and illuminate it and it's going to be quite nice. So I grabbed that one. Then they also had this one as well with these beautiful flowers all over it with more of like a summery vibe. That other one was more pastel. It even has a little ladybug on it. So I picked up one of each because I just thought that they were so fantastic, but they had several, several options to pick up different ones with different styles and designs on them. Then I found this tote bag right here, this canvas tote bag, and I love it so much. And it says on it, it says bloom and grow, and it has the beautiful little gnome on it, and I absolutely love that color blue. Again, these are great canvas tote bags, a good size to go to the farmer's market. That's what I use my tote bags for that I pick up at the Dollar Tree with all the different designs on it. I go to the farmer's market, put fruit, vegetables, all kinds of things that I pick up. We love to put around at a farmer's market craft fair. So those are great to just sling over your shoulder and go throughout and pick up the little odds and ends that you find. So I picked that up. Then I wanted to grab this right here and we're going a, a little bit. I have three separate bins around me and I'm just going to pick and pull from the bins that I am working on right now. I did want to grab some tissue paper because I wanted to put together the two Easter baskets for my son and his girlfriend and I decided to use the tissue to balance everything in and then pops of color of the tissue popping up. I will put it together and take a picture um, share it with you on my Instagram to show you what they came out like and I'll probably do like a little video clip to incorporate into a video that I'm going to post on Easter over on my Crazy Callen Vlogs channel to share with you guys there how Easter ended up pulling you know pulling off the day and the things that we did so that's going to be on Sunday over there. So this is the 24 sheets right here of all of these beautiful colors inside the variation. So that's really, really great. Again, everything in this haul is $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And I love it. And you know, I love it. So in the gardening section, 
I just got down to it and I'm so excited. I found some more gardening gloves. These are so pretty, I think. I love, love, love the colors on these. And I always use the Dollar Tree gardening gloves every year when I'm outside working on my yard in my little garden patch, watering my plants, whatever I'm doing. I usually have my pretty, pretty gloves on, but I also bought a pair because I'm going to um, make a wreath with one of my wire wreath forms with a bunch of gardening gloves and gardening tools and make myself a wreath for the front door um, for a summertime. I switch out my wreaths on the front door constantly, so I like to have a lot of different ones to switch the theme every little, you know, couple of weeks or something like that. Then I found these beautiful signs right here that are all dangling from this like burlap little ribbon right there. So I'll show it to you slowly. It says, welcome bees and butterflies. So I think it is so cute. I usually take these apart, to be honest with you. I just take them right off of the ribbon and I use them to scatter around a wreath form and hot glue them on with some flowers around them and just pull it all together in a really cute style wreath. Then I also picked up this one. There was three of them all together and I wanted all of them. So this one says live life in full bloom. Love that. Then it has that flower attached to it. This beautiful purple one, the blue and another yellow so there is that and then i also have this one and it says plant one on me so right there that's a really cute play on words plant one on me means give me a smooch there's that flower and that little pot um little watering can i mean this flower right here and also that watering can. So that's all three of those. And I thought that they were wonderful and beautiful. And they made me super duper happy. Now I did pick up another sign. And I have to show you this. Because I found this after the fact. And then I saw Patrick from Patrick's Playbook. He showed this. And I already had it in my stash. And I was like boy, I see you. I got you because I got myself one too. And I love this one so much. I am a sand dollar girl. I love all seashells, but sand dollars are one of my favorite. I go to one particular point in the beach every single time I go down to the beach during low tide and I hunt for sand dollars and I usually find them. So this one right here is my favorite. I wish I had found it the first day. I would have freaked out, <laughs> but I still freaked out. So this one has that beautiful, beautiful wood look all around it. Has the beads right there to hang. Again, it looks like it's framed by the little wood um, edging around it. And then that beautiful home in the middle with the sand dollar as the O and that gorgeous, gorgeous blue in the background that looks like distressed wood. Beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, fantastic. My favorite sign for sure. Then I also picked up, say hi to Mr. Pete. <laughs> um, I did find some more of the little wood cutouts from the Shore Living, where all of that stuff came from. If you watched Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul, you saw me go berserk showing you the different themed things that I had found. And then I found some more after the fact. So here are some seashells, the little wooden cutouts in there to paint if you want to leave the, you know, just like that, make magnets out of them, whatever you choose to do. I also found these and these are the whales and there's six pieces in this one. No, yes, there are six pieces in there. And there's the whales, and then you can use the little twine string to make them into little ornaments or whatever you would like them to be. And then I found the six pack of the starfish with the little twine string to make them into ornaments after you paint them. So I picked those up, and those were new from that line, and I was super duper happy. 
Now, if you can believe it, I found a calendar and I wanted this calendar so bad and I was not able to find it when it first came out. And this is the farmer's market one. And I just want it for the pictures, to be quite honest with you. This is the calendar from 2022, which it can still be used. This is only April and we still got the rest of the year. But I want it for the pictures so that I can use them in my scrapbooking. So here are all the pictures for this particular calendar. And I got my paws on it. I don't even know how I did it, but boom, there it was. And I was like, get over here. You're coming home with me. I did find this as well. I found some more of those chalkboard stickers. This is the 18 pieces. And I've hauled a couple of packs at this point, but they were different um, shapes. And I found this one that is all circles of the little chalkboard stickers. So I think that these are really, really cool where they're the chalkboard option. So I wanted to grab these two just to have them on hand in case I can use them and I find other things to label. Or if I just want to use them in my scrapbooking, um, you know, albums and stuff like that and put little quotes on them. I just picked them up. They're a great black background to make something pop. Now, I did grab an easel. I picked up an easel right here, which I've hauled some of these in the past, but I did find another one, and this is a great size little easel. And where I like to do um, watercolor painting, I used to carry a bag in the back seat of my car. Every single time I went somewhere, I always had a canvas from the Dollar Tree, a little watercolor palette, a little water cup, and also I used to have a roll of um, uh, paper towel so that I could wash off the brush. So I wanted to do that again because I haven't done it in a while and I picked up the easel. So I'm going to put this all in a little tote bag. Maybe I'll even use the gnome tote bag to put all this stuff in. I did grab a couple of this size. This is just one piece. This is the six by eight inch canvas. And this is the one that you can hang up because it has a little bit of depth to it. It's not the flat one. So I picked up a couple of this size to put in a bag in my back seat so that I have it through the summertime when I'm hiking, when I'm by the water and I just want to sit and paint. And then I also picked up just this small little watercolor palette right there. There's eight colors in here, just the primary colors. And I and it does come with a little um a little paintbrush in there but they have so many little bags of paintbrushes that are multiple different sizes to a package they also have the sponge brushes that come multiple to a package as well so i have those on hand already so i will incorporate those into my little art bag for the summertime then make sure I get all the art stuff. Now I did pick up some pens. I wanted to have these and I wanted to get these particular ones to represent my friends right now that are going through their journey with cancer and they are going to come out on the other side and we are praying for them to get well and better and healthy and stronger than ever. So I did get these and this is breast cancer awareness prints pens from the ink brand and this is the eight ballpoint pens so I picked these up right there and they do have the little the little emblem on them so I grabbed those to also have then I picked up myself an eyeglass case because this one was brand new and I thought it was absolutely beautiful look at that gorgeous blue background with the little white daisies on it and then this one is just a soft shell one and you just unzip it, slide your glasses right in there and zip it back up. So I thought that one was really, really pretty and wanted to have that one as well. Now I found these boxes here and I could not pass them up. They had several different ones. They actually had ones that were like a navy blue background with flamingos all over it, but I saw these and these were definitely the ones that pulled at my heartstrings. So I thought that these would be so pretty. I got the larger size one right here. Look at how beautiful this box is. So I got these to stack just for a summertime 
decorative like little stackable boxes I can put them in my room I can put them on the kitchen sink um, just to stack them then there's this size right here which is one size smaller than this same exact design all over it and then I picked up this pack and this is a two pack right there so this is the two gift boxes this one smaller size and then one even smaller than that inside so it will be four tiers when I'm done and I just think that that is a really really pretty and cute display to just set in like a little corner space maybe put like a little um tea light electric uh, not electric but battery operated candle on top just to flicker and make it just a little base for that just to have something in the corner, even in my kitchen in the corner of my counter space. I just thought that they were too sweet and adorable to go there. I can put things inside of them like tea bags and stuff like that. They'll work out just fine and I think that they are fantastic. Now, let's see where we can go because there's so many things to go through. I actually said in my Crazy Callen Vlogs video that I could possibly do a part two to happy saturday dollar tree haul because there's stuff that i just need to get done so that i can start putting together the last minute easter things so that i can go drop them off to my short people that i love so much so we're gonna see about that we'll see how far we get in this process now let me move this bin and get this next one out of the way say hi to mr peep <laughs> Um, I got to grab some fantastic books and I won't spend a wicked lot of time showing you them in detail, but I will show you the covers. This is my type of book right here. It is like a little novel book. It says can't judge a book by its murder. And I love mystery. I love thrillers, movies, books, anything like that. True crime. I'm obsessed with it. And this book, let's see if it's even going to tell us. It doesn't say it. The sticker is covering up the original price. So unfortunately, I can't tell you. It says not every murder is by the book. And then it gives the details on the back. So here is this book right here I got to pick up. And I was so happy when I saw it. And then this is called Georgette Hayer, I believe it says. New York Times bestseller. And I thought that the cover of this was just, it was really, really beautiful. Again, it covered up the sticker for us. I, I try to peel these things off, but nine times out of ten what happens is that they have like black ink on the back of these stickers. And you can't even see the original price anyways. So it's unfortunate, but this is another paperback book. And this one says, meet the Matthews before the next one dies. <laughs> so this is another mystery thriller book. But look at her. I have to tell you, I am impartial to redheads. I love red hair. I wished I had had red hair. I just, I think it's so beautiful. So hence the reason I love Ariel, the mermaid. I just, I love red hair. And then this one right here is something like Happy. It looks like a really, really good book. They just do not want us to see the original prices, which really makes me sad. And then it says, one happy thing each day, 100 days. So this is about being like changing your life, looking for your happy, which is my message. As you guys know, if you know me more in depth, and you've been here with me for a while, I have had a full life of ups, downs, highs, lows, and crashes and built back up and you just got to keep looking for your happy be positive surround yourself with good things every day good people good energy good vibes and do the best you can to support one another through the difficult times and you know teamwork makes the dream work and when you have a good community with you to make you feel like you can handle anything you truly you truly can do it and it's not easy but we're all tough cookies and I love you guys because we have already been through quite a bit us all together and we've supported one another and I couldn't be more grateful for every single one of you that I get to talk to and know. 
So let me stop there because you know I'm going to start crying or something crazy. And then we're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> now I have to show you this because this journal right here popped up. And wowzers, wowsy wowzers. I am in love with this. This says, write yourself a lantern, a journal inspired by the poet by Elizabeth. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to mess it up. Again, we're not going to get to see the price. And then I have to just try to flip through as much of the journal as I can. Look at the beautiful edges to this journal. Look at the colors in the pages. This is the most beautiful journal I have ever, ever seen. Them, them randomly show up at the Dollar Tree. And I have found quite a few that have made me really happy. But this one is definitely the winner. The winner. So there's like, there's picture pages. There's just so many beautiful detailed little inserts. Look at how thick and big and beautiful it is. The colors in it are absolutely stunning. So this book right here, I hope you guys can find it if you're somebody that likes poetry or likes to write beautiful beyond words. Then we also have this, and this is an almost home poems book. And they've had a lot, a lot of poetry books out lately. Again, I'm sorry, it is covered. And so I've kept, you know, I keep picking them up because I love to read. I loved doing poems and making poems when I was younger. And um, this is just a really amazing thing to pick up at the Dollar Tree. Their book section has been going haywire, absolutely haywire. I would read you one, but they are kind of long. So I'll find you a page and I'll hold it really still in case you guys want to screenshot it. And then you can go and see if you can read it. Hopefully you can. And just see what one of the pages offered you in this poem book right here. So there is another poetry book. And then we will stop there. So that was for the books for this week. Because some of those are going to be for my mom for Easter. Now I do want to show you a couple of these amazing, amazing books that I found for the little people in my life. Okay. I found this one right here, which is Disney Squishy Sticker Activity. And it comes with a little Mickey that is squishy. Can you believe this? How fantastic is this? I was like stunned, so stunned that I whipped you all the way across the room. Um, it says a squishy fun Mickey. Holy Toledo, that is fantastic phenomenal and fantastic. So look at the stickers in here. Just for that alone is worth the dollar 25 because that's look at there's more stickers. There's another whole sheet of stickers. Oh, and look at there's a third page too. Let me see how many maybe I didn't even flip. There are one, two, there's five pages of stickers in here. And then you can start doing your coloring and activity. So here is this book, absolutely blew my mind. Then we have this one, this is the Disney Princesses and this is the handwriting. It comes with three markers. So that is wonderful. And then inside, it gives you all of the prompts to follow, but just look at the images inside of it. If somebody has like a Disney themed room, you could cut these pictures out and frame them and they would be, they would be wonderful. They would be absolutely wonderful. Let me see if I can find Ariel up in here. Is my girl in here? Um, I don't see her, but let me show you this one of Jasmine. Jasmine is gorgeous. Look at that girl. So pretty. So an amazing find. Was so excited about it. Now I do have another one with a squishy, I think, if I picked it up. And I wanted to be able to show you that at least. Maybe I didn't pick up that other squishy. Well, I'll show you this one last but not least. 
And then this one is the handwriting for Minnie and Mickey. So this one doesn't come with any extras on it, but it's still just as totally cute because the images inside again are phenomenal. So what I'm telling you is you have to look in the book section because they have all brand new writing books. They have uh, sticker activity books where the stickers are plentiful in the beginning of the books and that is so well worth the price because you go to the sticker section and you get like one sheet of stickers which is still fantastic but this you're getting a book you're getting a little squishy toy and you're getting um stickers that's like bananas that's completely bananas and makes me so incredibly happy now, I did grab this canvas, and I was so happy that I found it. I saw somebody haul it, and I can't remember who did, but I love elephants. I absolutely love them. I love all animals, but this one with the three, which is a significant number for me because it's me, my husband, and my son, so I always like to buy things in three, but where their trunks are all kind of up, that's good luck to me because that's what I learned growing up was that elephants with their trunks up are good luck. And my Nana used to collect them all the time. So they have done an exceptionally wonderful job putting out their canvases. And that one made my heart super duper happy. Now let me grab my other little bag over here and whip some more stuff out to you and show you what else I got to pick up. Now, I will tell you that I did, I hauled these quite a while ago, but I only hauled the purple one. So they had this color, this color, and the purple one that I already have. And there are his friends right there. <laughs> so there's Mr. Peep. And we, I found the other ones. Now, I only picked up the purple one because I thought, okay, I can just manage with the one. And that wasn't the best idea I've ever had because... When I cooked the strawberry cake mix from the Betty Crocker brand that I found at the Dollar Tree, I had to make eight bunny heads with that amount of cake mix. And that was fine because we needed about that amount to be able to decorate for Easter. But it would have been easy if I had more molds on hand. So I was happy that I got to find them again. And I picked up the two extra colors so that next year I can make them all, you know, quicker by, you know, just putting them all in at once. So I bought several of these. So these work really, really well, but you do have to spray them before you use them and put the cake mix in them. But these were fantastic, and once the cake was out, they were so much fun to decorate. And I even got the frosting from the Dollar Tree as well. So I grabbed that. Now, oh my heavens, I don't even know where to go, where to start, where to finish, because there's so many cute do toys. I just couldn't even believe what I've been able to pull for only that $1.25 to put baskets together. Now, I found this toy little wrecker right here, and I thought that this was absolutely amazing and wonderful. It does have a pull tab on it, so just make sure that yours does when you get it. And then I'm assuming that it lights up or something. I am putting this in my little cousin Murphy's little um, Easter basket that I got him, but they did have a couple of other truck options in this size in the same basket I just picked up the wrecker because it was different I think the other one was a police car and a fire truck but I did take a picture of it and I will share it over on my Instagram so that you guys can see all the options but I thought that was a really fantastic size then I picked this up <laughs> I'm even excited about this one I want to play with this so this is from the uh, turbo wheels again and this is the powered by foot pump and three plus and it's a race car so it has the pump right there the car attaches to it then you stomp on that and the car goes flying how much fun is that that is so unbelievable for only a dollar 25 what a great size car and it is plastic, 
but Murphy is going to love that. And he's probably going to make me shoot that car all over the place when we're playing together. So I thought that that was really, really cool. Then we also have these two little um, transformer type of cars. This is called flip cars. Okay. So watch what these do. Look at, okay. So we see it like this, right? And then we're going to take it apart and unclip it. And then we're going to flip it over. And now it's going to turn into a completely different vehicle. Will you look at that? How nifty is that? That is amazing. So obsessed with that. Then we have this one. Okay, we see what that one looks like. We're going to flip up the sides and then we flip up the back, flip it over and lock it into place. And look at it's a police car. What in the world? What in the world? Nifty, cool, amazing, fantastic, mind blowing. I'm so excited. And no, I didn't get to finish absolutely everything. So I might do another haul part two and I might post it on Sunday morning as an early morning happy Easter vlog for you guys to watch while you're putting the ham in the oven. <laughs> so check out for Monday, um, Sunday morning as an extra haul this weekend for happy Easter weekend. And during that one, I'm probably going to announce the new giveaway for 1,200 subscribers. So that is it. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I love you guys so much. Happy Easter weekend. I hope you guys all have an amazing, amazing time with family and friends and just tons of love and care for one another. And I'm just so happy to be here with you guys. Please, if you wouldn't mind, like, share, comment down below, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I absolutely love being here with you guys. And I hope everybody has an amazing, amazing time on Sunday. But I will post the video at about four o'clock in the morning to share with you guys so that before the whole house erupts and the Easter Bunny came to bring the presents, you guys can sit, listen to what else I've hauled for you. And I'll see you guys then after that on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. So that's all. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in a couple of days. And that's it. Bye guys.